Hello and welcome to another <clears throat> Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at three treasure packs from the Ice Crown Citadel um, raid pack or game pack, I guess it is technically. Uh, each one contains nine cards, and uh, these were uh, kind of expensive and at the time, and they're kind of hard to find now for a reasonable price. So let's see what's in these because uh, the assault on uh, Ice Crown Citadel was pretty tough and a lot of people that played, you know, you didn't get a lot of reward out of it so they wanted the treasure packs. So let's see what we've got in these because I'm intrigued. And watching me fight with cellophane probably is not the highlight of your day. Alright, I'm going to use the cutter. Don't use knives and sharp things without adult supervision from a responsible adult, kids. I'm going to go ahead and give these others a little bit of a head start. Alright, let's see what we've got in this one. Alright, the cards are secured in a little uh, plastic thingy. So you can watch me open something else. It's like Christmas where you don't get any presents. But I do. Alright, we've got a foil serpent's nest. A uh, fell trade. They're all foils, by the way. Invincible, Path of Life, uh, an advertisement with some, that's one of those fragment pieces you're supposed to be able to collect them all and send them in for a special card, but that time has long since passed. I got a rare Storm Fury, Black Blade of the Betrayer, at the, oh, this is a one-handed weapon dagger. At the start of your turn, if this weapon has two or fewer demonic counters on it, add a demonic counter. This weapon has plus one attack and costs one to use to strike with each demonic counter on it. Interesting. Oathbinder, Charge of the Ranger General. At the start of your turn, your hero deals one nature damage to target hero for each ability, ally, and equipment you control. Assassin's Game. A Nexus Link, a Mental Focus, not a bad, not a bad pack, they're all foils so I'm happy already because who doesn't love a good foil? If you say you don't, I think you're lying. Alright, pack number two. Go ahead and move these over a little bit. We've got a Royal Scepter of Tyrannus the Second. We've got a Securing the Ramparts, a Path of Life, Halion Staff of Forgotten Lore. If an ally you control dealt damage to a hero this turn, you pay one less to play cards. That's pretty cool. Another those fragment pieces. Our rare is uh, Varrock Sarfang High Overlord. He has ferocity. When this ally would be dealt damage, prevent one of it for each damage on him. So that's pretty cool. And it looks really cool with a foil on it. And Grace of the Lightbringer. Another Oathbinder. Mental Focus. And Assassin's Game. And lastly, our third pack. I'd think I would have pre-cut these before I opened or started the filming, but no. Nope. nope, you have to watch me do it. That's the fun. Alright, last pack. Let's see what we got. 
if I can get the stupid thing open. We have a, let's move these over, an Invincible, a Feltrade, Nightmare Ender, on your turn destroy this weapon, shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw that many cards. There's our stupid fragment piece. Uh, we got a Storm Fury. Don't we already have that? Yes. So we have a second Storm Fury. Favor of Acurus. Another Nexus Link. Residue Rendezvous. Phylactery of the Nameless Lich. At the end of your turn you may put an unlimited ally from your hand into play if its cost is less than or equal to the cost of an unlimited ally you control. And then we have uh, Terrance Menethil the second. This ally enters play with four damage. Men two. This ally is plus eight attack while undamaged. Well, that gives you incentive to heal him. All right, that's three packs of the Assault on Ice Crown Citadel treasure packs. That's what's in the box. Just some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I got three rares, one of one in each pack, obviously, and some commons and uncommons like you'd expect. The foils are pretty cool. This one looks really cool. Um, otherwise, yeah, I love foils. So you get that's what you get. They're all labeled as being part of the Citadel set with 30 cards in the set. So uh, be sure and try and collect them all, I guess. And uh, good luck finding some of these. I'm sure you can find them cheap online occasionally. Just look for sales. Keep your eyes out. Otherwise, you probably have to buy them individually if you know what you're looking for. Um, that probably will help. But, yeah, some of these are pretty good cards. So, yeah, I recommend checking these out. And thanks for watching. That'll do it for this episode. And we'll see you next time on What's Inside.